Let's get back to it, shall we? Uh, so... We want, uh, let's see. First thing, we want to figure out the time that it's going to take to run all of these runs. Uh, so, we're going to have to modify our blueprints table. Uh, let's go ahead and insert a new column on the left. Uh, beside output, we're going to uh, add uh, duration. And we'll pop back into the game here and look up uh, Atron. And again, we want the base blueprint with no... Um, uh, no ME or TE bonus on it. And we're going to calculate all of that ourselves. And so we have this time per run is an hour and 40 minutes uh, for one run. So an hour and 40 minutes. Let's go back in here. Um, can we say duration? Number of periods and investment to reach a value. Okay, that's not really useful for us. So, um, can we do uh, time? Uh, let's see, time date. Uh, oh, why am I? I'm not getting any help. Give me help, please. I need help. Date dated. Date difference, date value, converts date string to a date value. Uh, converts year, month, day into a date. Uh, let's see, what about time? Converts hour, minute, seconds into a time. Time value converts a time string into a serial number representation. I think that that's what we want. Let's try time value. And we're going to pass in a string of uh, 1H40M. Let's see if it likes that does not like that. Okay, how about 1 colon 40 colon 00? zero? Uh, it seems to have liked that, um, but not not really. I think it's I think it's expecting like wall clock time uh, where like 1 40 returns, oh, returns the fraction of a 24-hour day, the time represents time stream. Okay, all right, that's not uh, super useful to us. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Google, uh, and we're going to say uh, what was, oops, sorry, what was the... Uh, what was it? Yeah, it was an hour, 40 minutes. So let's say 1H40M in seconds. Uh, so that's 6,000 seconds. Uh, so that is what we're going to put into our spreadsheet here. And uh, we'll worry about uh, formatting it back later. So 6,000 seconds. And uh, we're going to do the same for our Cyclops. Uh, which, uh, so once again, getting a base zero ME zero T Cyclops, Cyclops is going to take two and a half hours. Uh, so this time we go two hours 30 minutes in seconds that's gonna be 9,000 seconds and then we can do some math later to figure out what that is in some sort of human readable duration um, so now that we have that let's go to our t1 build sheet 
and well actually yeah okay let's uh let's do it um duration or we can say build time is going to be uh let's see we want to oh, let's just let's just let's just grab this cell Okay, we don't need the ceiling at the moment, I don't think. We don't need the ME or TE or the ME stuff here. Um, and we want, okay, to build blueprint name. Yep, that's right. And then C7, we don't need tritanium. This time we want duration. This is the column uh, header. So 60,000 seconds, because that's 6,000 seconds times 10. That makes sense. And so first off, um, let's, let's turn this into hours. Why don't we? Uh, actually, no, actually, let's, let's hold off on that. Let's, let's get our math right first. Um, so we're multiplying by quantity to build. Then we're going to multiply by uh, 1 minus uh, blueprint T. Then we're going to multiply by facility T. -E. And that's 19,488 seconds. Uh, let's see if that matches up with what we expect here. Um, so we're going to grab Atron. And we need 10 runs with a duration of 3 hours, 40 minutes, 52 seconds. So how do we convert that into a real number that we can read? So um, I'm just going to do some scratch math here. Uh, so we got build time is, this is in seconds, so we divide by 60 to get minutes. Uh, then minutes divided by 60 to get hours, right? Am I, am I doing that? Oh, I did not show you the screen again. Um, okay, job okay, so the job duration is three hours, um, or three, three hours 40. So that's, uh, something's off here. Divided by 60. 60 again. Is it one minus? Um, facility time? Why did that number get bigger? Okay. No. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, let's uh, let's simplify this. Uh, we got six thousand seconds uh, for one run, so that's an hour and forty minutes. So divide those seconds by sixty. So sixty seconds in a minute. So this is minutes, and then hours is number of minutes divided by sixty again, because there's sixty minutes in an hour 1.667 okay this looks promising uh so um <laughs> is there some time diff diff time second into time yeah that's hour minute second we want the opposite um, time value yeah that's only a oh hmm you know what we could do potentially hmm no, I, so I'm thinking maybe we can like do like time now plus 
6,000 seconds uh, to try to figure it out. Let's, let's, you know what, let's try it. Why not? Now plus 6,000. No, that is 2040 and that is very wrong. Okay. Um, so let's go. We got hours, we got minutes. Then we got seconds. There's zero seconds because there's no, nothing happening there. So let's say, um, floor. So floor is just like ceiling. Uh, it, whoop, it rounds down, uh, ceiling rounds up. Uh, so that's one hour. And then if we, um, we say hours times 60 minus uh, the number of minutes, that'll give us our minutes, so, or rather if we reverse it, the J2 minus one hour is 40 minutes. So it's one hour, 40 minutes. Uh, total minutes is I2 divided by 60. divided by 60 to get 40 minutes uh now we can delete whoop uh, two divided by 60 okay. whoop. There we go. okay uh so build time six thousand that gives us an hour 40 minutes and let's say seconds two. Um, um, what else could be? A little I two, A two, A two. Six hundred seconds. Oh, we but we don't need to make that. That's too many seconds. All right. Well, we can we can figure that out. Of Now we have 6,000 seconds. Uh, so if we say ME20, uh, you haven't changed because we're just doing quantity to build. So we say 10, 10 runs is gonna be 16 hours, 40 minutes. Uh, but we wanna add our time efficiency in here. So uh, one, or one build times one minus uh, blueprint te cool so that's an hour 20 minutes and then we also want to factor in our station uh, facility time so facility te I'm gonna spell it right facility te to be Oh, thirty-two point four eight minutes. Uh, that's still that's wrong. Okay, so we got we got some sort of bug with our TE calculation here. Um, let's let's look at our manufacturing bonuses and see what we're doing here. Um. So the Sotillo has a base 30% bonus. Well, actually, let's let's look in let's look in game. See what that's see what that says uh, for our job duration. So we have blueprint time efficiency, skills and implants. Oh, that's another thing that is going to be a thing that we have to factor in. Um, I feel like we should hold off on that now uh, and just factor in the rig and structure bonus so the structure roll bonus is 30 percent so if we multiply all of these together we should get uh, the actual bonus uh, so that's going to be uh, let's see 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0
times 0.32 times 0.42 times 0.3. Uh, is 0 0.008. Now this seems wrong again. Oh, right. It'd be 1 minus 1 minus uh, 0.02, uh, which is, or sorry, 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8. So it's 0.8 times uh, 0.68 times 0.58 times 0.7, which is 0.220. So that's what we should expect to see here. Well, not here, because this doesn't take into account uh, minus uh, 0 0.2 for the TE of the blueprint. Yeah, so that's not not exactly what, what we want. So, um, oh, right. Uh, I don't want to factor in skills and implants right now. So have blueprint time efficiency is 20%. Okay, we'll take care of that later. Skills and implants, we're going to ignore for now. Uh, installed rig is 42%. 42% is the rig bonus. Yes, okay. 42% is the rig bonus. Um, and the structure roll bonus is 30%. Uh, so we want to, we do want to one minus all of that. And then we want to one minus the structure. This is 0. 0.046. So, okay, let's, what let's let's break it out just to make things a little easier to see and understand um, and there so we have the one minus applied right now so yeah that's uh, 70 percent times 58 percent and then equals that times uh, that is 0 0.406 and then if we want we can do equals that times that times 1 minus uh, 0 0.2 for the blueprint and then I also have a 32% bonus for my skills and implants uh, so that times that times 1 minus 2 times 1 minus, uh, was it 0.32 percent? Or, yeah, 32, so 0.32. Uh, this is 0 0.220864. Uh, did that, did that math work out from earlier? 0 0.220864, yes, okay. Then multiply that times 6,000 for one run. Uh, gives us 1,326 seconds. Uh, so if we say 1,326 seconds in hours, uh, we get 0.36 hours. Okay, how about minutes? It's 22.1 minutes, and I have 22.05 minutes here, which it looks like that's correct. So, um, that looks good. So, um, for now, Let's go back into the sheet. Uh, so that 0 0.046 is good for that. Uh, we're going to go into back to our T1 here. Uh, so times facility PE. 
blueprint facility and we're going to multiply by 1 minus 0.32. Uh, so 1325 and we're going to round up so ceiling. 1326 seconds, that's 22.1 minutes. Um, and cool, so that is the correct uh, total seconds. And then oh, hold up, we got somebody in the dojo channel. And they're gone. Okay. I forgot to start recording again. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Uh, okay. So uh, I forgot to hit record there again after our break. Uh, so we're just going through and trying to figure out how to uh, get our build time. So what we've done is, is we've gone into our blueprints. We've added this duration column. And we've filled out Atron takes 6,000 6, seconds to build. Uh, and so we grabbed that from uh, the blueprint here. Uh, remember to grab the 0ME0TE version. It says time per run here, 1 hour 40 minutes. And what we've done is we've just gone to Google and we say 1H40M in seconds. And it does a nice conversion to get our 6,000 seconds. Um, so then uh, looking at our manufacturing bonuses, I've broken it down here and 0 0.406 is uh, the correct value that we are indeed looking for. Um, if we look in the game, uh, there is an additional skills and implants um, bonus that uh, we're going to just kind of ignore for now. I'm just going to hard code it into this spreadsheet. Um, but uh, we can we can split that off later. Uh, so that's what's gotten us this build time value, uh, which is 1,326 seconds. Once we factor all of that in and we can work that back uh, with Google to see how many hours and minutes it is. And it's 22 minutes and a few seconds of change. Oof, I've been doing a lot of talking and I think it's starting to catch up with me. So uh, let's try to uh, wrap this up a little bit. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, just gonna move this over here. And so we're going to try to get this into like a human readable format because uh, uh, 1,300 seconds is kind of meaningless to most people. Uh, so I kind of uh, did some stuff here and we can take hours. So H2 is our uh, build time in seconds and we divide by 60 to get minutes, divide by 60 to get hours and we round it down uh, so that uh, only whole hours are going to be put into this column. Uh, and so that gives us zero hours in this case, but if we swap it to that okay no that's not enough just our facility is so good you can't build an atron in more than an hour um but uh if we bump up our quantity here there we go now we got three hours and 40 minutes and change um i don't think we really need to break it down into seconds as well so i'm gonna just go ahead and floor this uh so we're going to say three hours, 40 minutes. And uh, why don't we go ahead and we're, we're going we're gonna to make it human readable. And we'll say, uh, let's see, hours is this. So we're going to say equals uh, floor that. And uh, we're going to concatenate with this ampersand. We're going to put, put a colon here and then we're going to concatenate again. Uh, and we'll get this going. And there we go. Three colon. Whoop. I accidentally overwrote it with a zero. So three colon 40. How did, how did deleting this change it? Oh, we're calculating that. Okay. Um, 
So instead of J2 times 60, we'll say H2 times 60 times 60. That gives us a nice negative number. Okay, so J2, so let's replace that with this. Replace J2 with this. This is all somewhat silly. Uh, so, get that, paste it there. There we go. Now we can delete that. Um, and you know what if if we if we really want to go wild go ahead and copy this and replace h2 i don't h2 gets referenced too many times i don't want to do that um so you know we'll just we'll just leave this we'll just swap what cell it is it's in and we'll just hide it off on the end and have the build time three hours, 40 minutes. One copy is only going to cut, take you 22 minutes. Uh, so that's cool. Um, and actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's seal this. Uh, is this what we want to seal or is this? Let's seal this. There, 23 minutes. I think that's Correct. Yeah. So, so in game it's twenty two minutes five seconds, um, but here it'll say twenty three minutes. Actually, we can we can actually just round this, and that'll that'll get get us a more accurate uh, number. So if if this goes up, like if the TE goes down to say eighteen percent, it'll be twenty three minutes. All right, so that's our build time. And then the last thing we needed was our job cost. So our job cost is the estimated item value. Okay. I think actually we're going to we're going to stop here because this estimated item value is something that we're going to need an, an ESI call in order to figure out. Um and this is something that you don't really want to input into your spreadsheet manually because it's going to change uh, dynamically based on the markets. Um, so we're going to do that, uh, maybe next time if, if we want to, we can do, uh, GESI or something like that and start learning how that stuff works. Um, cause we're going to need ESI to grab this value. We're going to need ESI to grab the system cost index. Um, and then, yeah, the structure bonus we already have, facility tax. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a, there, I'm not sure if there's a way to get that out of ESI. Um, there probably is. And the SEC surcharge is, I think that's just a flat fee that we can figure it out, figure out easily. Um, and then, so then we can figure out what the job cost is going to be. So, yeah, I think we'll, we're going to call it there. We got our ME figured out. We got our TE figured out. Uh, we got our build time calculated. We have our T1 materials calculated. We can change it up. We can change our station if we fill it, fill stuff out, uh, appropriately. Um, and yeah, then we also figured out our invention chances, uh, or uh, how many runs we need to, uh, you know, statistically get at least one uh, of our runs to succeed. And uh, we had a look at some market data and exporting and massaging it so that it works well and looks nice in uh, sheets. So I think it's been uh, a rather uh, unfilled four or five hour stream. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's about time we all take a break.
Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll go ahead and uh, call that the stream there. Uh, so, if you're still with me from the beginning, goodness, you have stamina. And uh, yeah, we'll call it there. Thanks for coming out and listening to me ramble. I guess before I go, are there any sort of like last minute questions or anything? Or, um, uh, yeah, anything like that? questions but they'll get sorted at some point all right sounds good um yeah maybe i'll i'll probably do this again uh maybe we'll we'll make some other uh sheets or maybe we'll venture into the world of uh gesi um who knows we'll we'll have to have to see how my schedule is and what what time i can find. but uh yeah thanks again for coming out and uh we'll we'll hopefully do this again sometime